This is a story about a day in the life of a fisherman in San Leon, Texas, a fishing community in Galveston County. The fisherman at the center of this story is Jin. Jin explains that what draws people like him to the sea life is an eternal sense of freedom, a desire to be independent from the restraints of industrial factory, and an attachment to the openness of the sea. John Mansfield's poem "Sea Fever." I must go down to the sea again, to the lonely sea and sky, and all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by, and the whales kick, and the wind song, and the white sails shaking, and a gray mist on the sea's face, and a gray dawn breaking. I must go down to the seas again, for the call of the running tide is a wild call and a clear call that may not be denied. And all I ask is a windy day with the white clouds flying, and the flung spray, and the blown spum, and the seagulls crying. This morning, Jin and I left the dock at 6 a.m. This is later than normal, but it hasn't been a normal season. Diesel is at the highest price that he has ever seen it, about three dollars and seventy-five cents to four dollars a gallon. And the price of shrimp is at an all-time low, two dollars and fifty cents for size nineteen to twenty. If nineteen to twenty of them make a pound, then the shrimp is identified as nineteen to twenty, and so two dollars and fifty cents per pound. Keep in mind that the dock sells back this shrimp to the market about five dollars a pound. On good days this season, Jin explains that he gets about two hundred dollars after expenses. If he's lucky, his Caterpillar engine, the same engine. That you traditionally find in eighteen wheelers, if he's lucky, it doesn't break down, or he doesn't get his net caught on the bottom of the sea and get it all torn up, and he has to replace it. That would add on to the cost. On this morning, the winds are high, but not too rough. We're looking for a good shrimping day. One thing that you immediately realize once you get on the boat with Jin is that he works alone. All of the shrimpers in the sea town here work alone. He navigates the boat. He drops a net. He hauls it. He separates the shrimp. He does all of this, all by himself. So here we are heading back into the dock. Now, as you can see, it's pretty bright outside. So we haven't been out that long. It's probably about noon right now, and the reason why is because it's just not that profitable for the fishermen to be outside dragging the nets for hours and and having such a low return. What we do at this point, or what Jin does now, is because he knows that he's not going to get a lot of money selling to the dock. He goes ahead and puts it into a cooler and drives it down to a restaurant and then sells it straight to them, bypassing the middleman. And this is something that would be extra work for him, but it would mean more money for him and his family to pay the bills and to feed the kids.
I want to end this film with the remainder of John Maysville's poem, which really summarizes what Jin feels about his life and shrimping. The final stanza says, I must go down to the seas again, to the vagrant gypsy life, to the gull's ways and the well's way where the wind's like a wetted night. And all I ask is a merry yawn from a laughing fellow rover and a quiet sleep and a sweet dream with a long trick's over.